Hello everybody and welcome to a special kind of video for New Year's Eve. My ma I'm using face rig. Hopefully it looks good. I just want to give you something more personal because this guy kind of not really has a similar look to me and he's an average guy. I guess I'm an average guy. Um and also I don't really want to show my face, do I? This is the best you're gonna get. It's still kinda creepy, isn't it? Yup. So what's this video? Well this video is a New Year's video because last year I didn't do this. Last year I ended 2015 by doing a CSGO case opening and I don't want to do that again basically. So this is what we get. We get a face rig and we're gonna have like a look back at the year. I'm gonna go through all the months of the year, say what's happening in them for the channel. Then do some 20 set talk about 2017 stuff. It'll be great, it'll be amazing. Let's hope I can get this edited for tomorrow. Because this is Friday. So, where do we begin? Let's well, let's begin at the start of 2016. So as I said, 2015 ended with the CSGO case opening, but 2016 for us, that started with the 200 sub milestone. And I got 200 on Christmas actually. I mean it went down like one or two and came back up a few days later, but it's, it's better to say I got it on Christmas, isn't it? But yeah, Christmas I got 200 subs, and that's that's when I mentioned I will be doing a Q&A, isn't it? Is it? No, it's not. Yes, that's when I mentioned I'll be doing Q&A, which was in January. Not in not in the month. I got it. No, 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 no. no. The month after. I'm very. I was very slow. I still am quite slow. So let's go back on. So then we started the series called Ben and Ed. Now Ben and Ed was a really actually really fun game. Which, I remember I saw it on 9gag, <laughs> yes, and that was, it was really fun to watch on that, and then I saw other people play it, I was like, oh, this looks like an actual good game, and I got it, and it was really fun. Um, but we all know how most of my servers, uh, servers, sorry, I'm re I've got like a kind of little script thing here, so I kind of just read that, but we know how most of my, um, series is, is, is um, kind of finished, it kind of just end randomly. Next came the first video with Strongest Strange, who is honestly one of my one of my favourite people on YouTube. He's just so much fun to play with, and I just absolutely love have met, having met him and playing. I, it's just so much fun. He's such a great yeah, person. I just want him to do well. <laughs> and then finally, Rocket League came. That was the last Rocket League video I did with Foxy or PvP Crafter. He wasn't known back then. He kind of was. Kind of wasn't. But I actually want to do more Rocket League. That's like one of those games that I just love playing. It is just so much fun, and I want to do. And I'm actually kind of okay at it. Not like a uh, professional standard at it, but you know, just all right, all right. So I want to do more of that in the future, which is gonna. That's probably gonna come on to 2017 stuff. By the way, if you're noticing that the audio for the like the mouth isn't like going in time with my audio, I'm really sorry about that. But it's face rig. It's meant to capture my mouth, and it, I don't think it's doing okay. Uh, maybe. Maybe. It looks alright, from my perspective, but I don't know about yours. So, next came February. So, we started February with the update that I got a new microphone, which is the Blue Yeti microphone, and I got the Blackout Edition because I like black. And it is such a good microphone, I love it. The thing I noticed with it is there's a little humming noise that I have to usually edit out. I've noticed that like, on the first few videos with, with it. And then I realised, oh, it's something I can edit out, so I just did. Um. Yeah, we started that, and that was on Star Wars Battlefront, and I actually did enjoy that game. Not many people played it when I bought it, which is a real shame, because I couldn't find any games online, but I thought it was fun. Like, it's fun to play with your friends, definitely. Like, just going against, like, Luke versus the Emperor, it's just so much fun. Then we did, like, my speed art with Confused Art, which was Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, which is actually a lot of fun to do. Like, we both, I did one, and then he did his version, which looks so cool. But yeah, that's actually a really fun experience for me. I think I learned a lot of, do of art skills from doing that. Then came the best series you've ever seen on my channel, Prison Architect. Well, the second time of me doing it. I did it ages ago, but I think I ended that really cool. I think I ended it and then just deleted it. Yeah, this was the start of a series. We started with episode zero, asking if people wanted it. A lot of people did. Did episode one, and that's all she wrote. It kind of just ended after episode one. I really should have done more. It was actually, it was okay. It was actually doing okay. Huh, who knows, maybe I'll go back to it. If any of you two people are commenting out there, please tell me, should I go back to Prison Architect? Next, the next video that came in February was a stream from Asker's server's Golden Boys, which was actually a really fun server. Like, that's like probably the last time I ever played Minecraft, to be honest. I well, no, is it? Yeah, it is. I actually just came, I fall out, fell out of Minecraft. Like, I 
can't play it now. Just. I used to think it was one of my favourite games, but I just realised it's not. It's a good game, I won't deny, but eh. I don't even want to get back into it. Like, that was one of the things I was debating with 2016. Like, should I do Minecraft again? Do people want that? But I was like, but I don't want to do that. Like, what's the point of doing a game I don't enjoy? So I didn't do Minecraft, but I did play it on his server, which was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> I like building houses. It was great. But then stuff happened and we didn't do it again. Uh. Next came EAG, a server I... A server? See? See what happens. A series I actually wanted to do, which was like my own idea, which stood for Early Access Games, which is like got games from like Keymailer and I did like little videos on them. I want to do that again actually, I might start doing that again because Keymailer, Keymailer, I'll link it in the description, is a really amazing site. Like, you get free games basically. <laughs> so you can actually request really good games and like any little games you get, they can still be amazing. Like some of the ones I got were good, like Tennis in the Face is the video we did it on and that was actually really fun to play and I want to do that again. I want to do that kind of series again. I might go back to that series. Now, the final video of February was 200 Q&A answer video where I did all the answers for your lovely, lovely questions, which is actually a lot of fun. <laughs> um, our next milestone, I don't actually know, 300 subs. I thought I could get that by the end of 2016, but obviously not because, well, to be honest, I don't really deserve it um, because of reasons of me not uploading enough. Um, but we did get past 270, which was a big, big gate. I just could not get past. Like it just, we kept going back down to it, under it. We're past it now, and we haven't left. We haven't gone under 270, so I'm happy. I'll accept that for 2016. Um, March, that's the next month that came. Not much happened in this month. It was mainly just art. Like we did Goku speed art, which was actually a, I, I love doing that one. That was one of my favorite ones to do. And then the Foxe speed art, a profile, because I needed to do practice, and he offered. Himself as a guy who wanted a new profile. Well, not he didn't use it, I think, but he just wanted a new profile, so I was like, Yeah, sure. And I thought it turned out okay for me. I mean, I'm not the best artist because my hands kind of shake when it lands, which isn't good for an artist. But the Goku speed art and his was a lot of fun to do. April, again, not much. <laughs> we had the Skull Banner, Skull Crusher Banner, which was my first ever banner doing, and I think he again offered to be used as a practice subject. And I had a lot of fun doing his banner. I'm not the best at banners still. I, I mean, it's harder to do than profiles. It's my if I do art again, I might just stick to profiles because banners I'm just not really comfortable doing. But then came the update video, which explained explained where I will be going in May because if you noticed in May, nothing came up, and that was due to me being gone to exams and I had marks, which marks is a practice exam for the real important exams which come in 2017. In May, so May and April, bleh, I won't have much going out. We'll talk more about that later in 2017. May, nothing. This was due to me being away and having exams. Yup. Let's just go straight on to June. Now June was an okay month. This is, Tom shout, we had two videos, me and, it was me and Tom, both Xenoverse. Tom shouted me out, I told his subscribers, that we were doing a video and I got a lot of views. <laughs> that was a lot of, that was a really big thing to do. Like, I can't thank Tom enough for helping me out, but like, that was really big for me. Help me out so much. Thank you, Tom. And he also, that's not the only thing he did. He didn't just give me shout outs. He also, um, he also gave me a new thumbnail to use. I'm gonna put that on the screen now. Um, he gave me a new thumbnail style to use. I don't remember why. I think that was because of, um, I think he got like a freedom shout out spotlight thingy and he saw it and he was like, they're arguing with your thumbnails. I went, yeah, he went, here's a new one. <laughs> he just gave me a brand new one. I couldn't be more thankful. Like honestly, that was just one of the best things that Tom, that's one of the best things other than making my banner. Uh, yeah, Tom does a lot for me. I wish I could repay him, honestly. But the first video which did the random battle said it was like, it's napper time. For you, that was a really terrible pun. Yep. But then we did our top Five hopes, I think it was for Xenoverse 2, which is actually I, I love doing videos about what's coming in Xenoverse 2. Like it feels so weird. I can't play Xenoverse anymore, to be honest. Because Xenoverse 2 is so much better. That was June. Let's go to July. Okay, July was probably a good month. It was a pretty good month. So this is when GTA stuff kind of started. So we mean top did a high setup. Um, we did one part of it and then we couldn't do, I couldn't upload anymore because 
the video was really weird. Like everything was really slow and deformed. Like, the whole video was just disgusting, basically. My eyes keep closing. I do notice this, by the way. I couldn't actually edit it because it made me feel really sick. I didn't know how to edit it because what could I show you which would make you feel sick or not be able to watch it? So we kind of just ended that. Maybe who knows? Go back to it again. Next in July came a random battle with Stronger Strange, which was a lot of fun. Again, Stronger Strange is a lot of fun to play with. He's helped me have fun in YouTube again. And then, finally in July, the top three best features that me and Tom saw as Universe 2 so far. Which was a bit outdated because we did it late and more features have been shown. But again, really fun to do and those features are really fun to play with in Xenoverse Like I've had so much fun. <laughs> Xenoverse 2 is such a great game. August, now this is my good month. Five uploads, which doesn't sound like a lot, but to be honest, that's really good for me. Um, we had cunning stunts, me and Tom. We did uh, three parts of that? Yeah, three parts of cunning stunts. And I honestly had so much fun editing it. And I know Tom did too. Like If you watched his parts of it, he had... His editing skills for that were so much, so good. And like, we recorded at like 2 a.m., 4 a.m., and he would just edit straight away. And I'd be like, I need to go to bed. And he's like, oh, okay, I'll just stay up and edit. And he's an hour ahead, so. Um, that was a hiccup, sorry. So 5 a.m. for him, he edited. Weirdo. That was a load of fun, though, to be honest. Like, I've never had more fun playing GTA than when we did Connie's Sons, because that was such a good update. Next in August came the C React, and there's one challenge, which. Well, I just did it because I thought, why not? Need an extra video. I could, I could do it for an extra video. And honestly, it was really popular. <laughs> like, I got quite a few views on it, and I was really surprised by how well it did. I didn't do well on it. His challenge was really hard. If you, didn't if you don't remember it, I'll put it on the screen. I mean, all these clips I'm mentioning now will be on the screen. Um, but, like, you had to, like, defeat Freezer as, like, all in... It was just a little freezer grunt with nothing really special going on. Then came Random Battle with Tom. This is just a random, normal random Xenoverse 1 battle with a lot of Ginyus, I remember. A lot of Captain Ginyus. September. This is more of an art month like March, so not probably not many videos in this one. I did find a new style, and I did start to take requests in September though, which is really a really bad time for me to take requests. Because this is the time when I'm going back to school, so I didn't have the time to take requests. I'm really sorry if anyone who requested, but honestly, you could do better than me. Like, I'm... When I start doing art again in 2017, yes, I'm doing art again in 2017, I'm not going to take requests straight away because I want to do some little pictures for myself first, get back into it, see how good I am, see if anyone wants stuff. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Um, but I did find a new style. This is like a little editing style I did at the end. So I'm going to put what I did up now. Like, I do a little photo kind of thing. What's it called? Uh, Polaroid kind of photo that comes out. Which I thought it looked quite nice actually. I thought it was like quite a nice idea. I don't know why I made it. I just thought it'd give me a bit of more of a personalised look. So this month I do a Mick Chicken. Because this is the month a guy um, got a bit lonely one day, found Mick Chicken. And did things to the said Mick Chicken. Don't want to know what he did. You don't really want to know what he did. You don't want to watch that video. Don't ever watch that video. Your eyes will need bleach. Yup. Uh, and then I did art for Croco. Yep, uh, we did a banner. Again, I'm not good at banners. I really couldn't blame him. He didn't actually use the banner, but he did actually use my avatar for a while. I got quite a few views on that. So thank you, Croco, for your help. Really good fun working with you. October, now this was the Xenoverse month. This is when it was just Xenoverse. Like, this was all road to Xenoverse 2, because Xenoverse 2 came out on the 28th of October, 29th, one of those days. One of them, was it 28th midnight? I believe so. So, we had like a random upload, you know, it was just Xenoverse um, throughout the month. But then on the 23rd of October to the 27th, I had daily uploads of Xenoverse 1, which made me so happy to be able to do. We had daily uploads of Road to Xenoverse 2. And then finally, on um, the last video of October came the Xenoverse 2 trailer. And that was an amazing thing to do. Now, November came nothing. I didn't actually explain why until December. But in November, I mean, I probably could have done in November as well, but I just didn't. Don't know why, I'm really sorry, but I didn't do anything due to mock revision, because these mocks are quite important, and I really needed to revise and do well. And I don't know how I did on them. I did okay on some. Well, on the ones I got back, I did quite good on, actually, so maybe it was worth it. Um, so there wasn't much to write about this December, but this November even. December came... The first channel update, which came, which was the first video, which was a channel update, which explained the mocks, why I've been gone. And basically how the mocks were nearly over, and I can actually start to record again. 
Then came Xenoverse 2, which was our first Xenoverse 2 video. It was the Battle of Strong Estrange. Um, this came out a few days ago. I have more parts of it. I need to upload the rest of the parts. It was just so fun. We played a, for a long time. A lot of screaming and swearing. And it was just all, all generally just really, really, really fun. <laughs> like, I can't... Uh, it was a really fun day. Then yesterday, because this is Saturday, which comes out on the 31st, uh, came Xenoverse 2, the story start of a Saiyan. The story will be insane, trust me. I didn't record much on that day, sadly, and I remember, and the audio was really weird, but that's when I was having audio problems thanks to OBS, but hopefully they should be fixed now, I really hope. Um, but we'll have more of the story, like, I am going to love doing the Saiyan character. Finally, finally came this video. Now this video, you'll see when this comes out, on the 31st of December, New Year's Eve. And this video is basically just explain. It's what I've done now. It's basically just explain everything I did throughout 2016 and start and the end of 2015. And the end of 2015 again. See us, see case opening. That's not why I wanted to do. That's not what I should have done. I should have done a video like this. And I'm doing this now. And hopefully I will edit this in time. I will most likely edit this in time. That's everything about 2016 done. Now comes the next bit. 2017. What's coming? Hmm. Well, let's begin. A new channel. Uh, well, not like a brand new, new, new channel. I mean a new channel for us. I am going to focus more on the channel now. I'm going to take it seriously. We're going to have consistent uploads, new trailers, new videos, and maybe some new looking aspects of it. I'm not going to say too much, but wink. I winked on it. I did it. I actually did do it. I can't wink. Boom. Yeah. Um, looking aspects. I'm not going to say too much about that because by the time this video goes out, they might not be ready yet. So, if, but when they are, you'll see and you'll understand what I mean by looking aspects. But then also comes a bad thing of 2017, which is GCSEs. So these exams have been going away for are leading to a bit very important exams called GCSEs, which are really are going to be quite hard, and I've got a lot to do. I've got about 21 exams to do in May. And I'm going to have to start revising about March. So, uploads from March will be a bit... That will be down compared to January and February. Uploads in April will be down again. And then uploads in May just will not be existent, sadly. But after that, I am done. Like, I finished I finish school before everyone else. And I have, like, two months to myself just to make video. I believe so. I hope so. I have... I'm going to make videos, so I'm going to keep uploading. I'm going to, I told you, I want to stick to consistent uploads. I want to even try and upload more. It's just Fridays for me are a really good day to upload because I can record it on like the Friday before, edit it throughout the week, and then upload on Friday, which works really well for me. So we'll decide. I will try and get a video out every Friday at 6 p.m. GMT. Now that that stuff's out of the way, just just remember the new channel, like our new channel will be coming. It will be good, I promise you. And I really hope I can do well this year. Now comes the fun parts top stuff of 2016 top games now number one was i'm gonna start from number five going up now these two are like smaller mentions so i'm allowed to do these like this so we're gonna do stardew valley and super hot two quite small games except for stardew valley which has grown a lot now like it's massive it's quite a big game now those two are my favorite games those two are my favorite games 2016 um so much fun like both of them i wish i could i wish i could have done series on them super hot was just really like really fun to play and stardew valley was actually a really good game like i'm going to probably start playing that again like, i don't know why it was so good it just really was next game dark souls 3 this is my first dark souls game don't know why i started with 3 i just thought you know what why not and it was, it's actually so much fun so hard i understand why people rage a lot at it now it is really hard but really really fun <laughs> overwatch came next Overwatch is kind of one of those games that you either like it or you hate it. And I didn't think I'd like it at all. But it turns out I really do actually like it. Genji's my main. He's just my man and my main. He's my main ninja robot dude. And honestly, I just have a lot of fun with him. <laughs> now it's number two, but this is a really hard decision to make because this game is stuck for number one, but I just could not decide it. But I feel like I'm happy with the choice I made. So number two for me is Battlefield 1. I got Battlefield 1 for Christmas, and honestly, so much fun. Like, I played the beta of it on Xbox, it's on Xbox, by the way. I played the beta of it on Xbox, and oh my god, I've never had more fun in a game, honestly. <laughs> so good, like, playing that with your friends just feels so good, and it, like, sounds, like, they know how to do their sound. Like, it sounds so realistic and so beautiful, like, honestly, that would be my number one game of 2016. If 
the actual number one game had not came out. So can we please get a drum roll? We're gonna we're gonna do some honorable mentions first, and then we'll get on to number one. So honorable mention number one, Titanfall 2. Like this game, I wasn't sure what I was doing about it because I wanted to get it, but other games were on mine at the time because it came out in October-ish time. Didn't it? That's an that's when other games came out. I was a bit unsure. I might get it in the future. I'm not sure because my birthday soon, maybe. Mafia 3. Now this game was really sad. Like it looked good, but Mafia 2 can't turn me off it because Mafia 2 at the end, really fun story, really fun like open world place. When you finish the story of Mafia 2, you can't play open world anymore, and that really just annoyed me. Like it just really annoyed me of the whole series, so I just stopped playing. So Mafia 3, that kind of drove me off it. I mean, it probably is different. Like they probably realized, oh, maybe it does need free roam. So, who knows, maybe I'll look at it. I never honourable mention was Pokemon Sun and Moon. Never played them. I love Pokemon, but for some reason just didn't get these ones. I'm not sure if that was a good choice or a bad choice. Uh, maybe one of you can tell me if I made the right choice there. But finally, the number one game for me of 2016 was... Drumroll, please. Hopefully I added to the drumroll in then. That was Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, obviously. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is just one of my favourite games. It is just it is just my favourite game in 2016. It's so, they've done so well with it. They've improved so much. By they, I mean Bandai. Even, or Dimps. Dimps, yeah. They've improved so much in the universe. And they listened to all our feedback. And they've, they've acted on all of it. Like, everything we wanted, they've basically done. Some things we're not unha we're ha unhappy about, obviously. But, I mean, there's no perfect game, is there, really? And this game, for me, is just so much fun to play. Like, I love Dragon Ball. I love Dragon Ball Z. I love Dragon Ball Super. GTA, I've not finished, but it's okay. <laughs> the start's a bit boring to it. But this game is just honestly a lot of fun. And if you are a Dragon Ball fan and not sure about this game, I would recommend you get it highly. Next, come what games I'm looking forward to in 2017. Now, this took a while to find, because I didn't really know, realize what games were coming out in 2017, but I realize now. So, uh, number five is South Park The Fractured Foothold. I got South Park to take a truth. Again, a lot of fun. Like this game, but this new one, Superheroes, oh, it's just gonna be so good when it comes out. I thought it was out, to be honest. Didn't realize it was not 2017. So when that comes out, I will definitely be getting it on PC probably. Who knows, maybe we'll do a series on it. Who knows? Next comes Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm wondering why isn't that, why isn't that higher on your list? It's just the other games which I'm looking forward to more, I guess. But Red Dead is a really fun game of my childhood, which I played a lot. I always remember running into towns, tying up people and throwing them in rivers. Hmm, they good old days. Next comes Injustice 2. Now, Injustice was an interesting game. Like, when that first came out on 360 and PS3, like, I was one who kind of introduced my friends into it. I was just looking for a superhero game, and that came out. I got it, and so much fun. My main was on that was Shazam, because... He was deadly, he had a few little combos, just hit, I mean I didn't do this, we could sit in the corner and just throw things people so can't get you. But yeah, I'm real looking forward to Injustice 2, and it's coming out on Xbox One, and they get games that's on Xbox One that I know I probably would never record, because I like having like, the ability to play, because more of my friends have an Xbox and a PC, and I like having the ability to play with them. Next comes Ukulele. If no one knows what that is, please just go and Google it. It's like Banjo-Kazooie, and if no one knows what that is, please go Google it. Andrew Kazoo was interesting for me because I only got done 360 and it was actually really weird. Like, I didn't know if I liked it or not. It was a really weird game. I actually did enjoy it a lot. And when I saw this, I was like, ooh, I need this. Like, I'm gonna get this game. This, this game looks amazing. Now, before we go on to number one, let's do some honorable mentions. So, Spider Man on the PS4. I don't have a PS4, but I really, really do hope it's a good game. It looks good. We need a good Spider Man game out there. We need a re well, we probably do have some already, but we need a really, really good one. This one looks really good. So I'm really happy that PS4 again. this. I mean, I do want it as well, to be honest, I'm not going to lie. But still, please be good. Next is not, the other honorable mention, it isn't a game exactly, but uh, I needed something else to talk about, so I wrote this down. The Nintendo Switch, the new Nintendo console. Again, I was going to get a Wii U this year, um, but then I decided not to because I only really wanted it for a Pokémon tournament thing. But probably, hopefully it'll be on the Nintendo Switch, but the Nintendo Switch looks good, like Skyrim on it. Oh yeah, portable Skyrim, that's all I could ever want for a console. So, let's hope it's going to be good. Now, the number one 2017 game I'm looking forward to is, you going to guess it already, it's Dragon Ball Project Fusion on the 3DS. Now that game is just going to be so perfect, like you can fuse any character you want together, like, oh America, I think you have it already, I am so jealous of you. And Japan, I just won this game. It comes out February for us. 
So I'll have to wait, but oh my god, it looks so perfect. I am really ready for this game. Okay, that's the game look forward to in 2017 done. So I want to mention some people who have helped me a lot this year. So Thomas Lab. First of all, he's probably my best friend on... He's probably my best internet commas, er, uh, commas, grotes, thingies, bunny rabbit things, friend. Because internet friends for me are normal friends. And he's probably one of my best, because he's just, he's been with me for ages. Like, uh, I was with him at the start, well not the start of his channel obviously, but just, he basically been at the start of mine. And honestly, it's been, he's been such a, he's such a cool guy, you know. He's helped me with so much more stuff, not just art or YouTube. He's helped me with like real life stuff. And honestly, I couldn't ask for, to, I couldn't ask to know someone better. Like, he's just one of the best people I know. So thank you, Tom, for everything you've ever helped me with. And hopefully we will continue our great friendship in 2017 and after. And thank you for anything I ever request from you in the future. Thanks, Tom. Next comes Strong Strange, who he basically helped renew my joy for YouTube again. Like YouTube for me, I wasn't really sure about how I was feeling about it because I, well, basically, I, I was kind of, well, people in my school. If you have YouTube again, it's not all people. Some special people, um, they don't really treat you the same if you have YouTube because they think it's weird or just funny to make fun of you for. And that was kind of bumming me out a lot about YouTube, but then I started playing with Strong Strange and I realised, why do I care? I can just have fun with him. I honestly had a lot of fun with him, so thank you Strong Strange for everything you have to do with help me have fun on YouTube again. Now next person I actually didn't mention on the script here, but I need to thank was Rhymestar. Now if you don't know Rhymestar, he's a big Dragon Ball YouTuber and he's one of my favourite people to watch now. Um, but not that long ago, I just messaged him asking if he could help me out with something, and this was my YouTube prediction. And like, should I start a new channel? Have I done stuff wrong? And he said just email him, and I emailed him. And basically, the advice he gave me was the best advice, one of the best advice I've ever been given. Basically, said that all channels start off slow, because I said I want to be a Dragon Ball tuber now. I said one of the things I want to do, but I want to do other games, obviously, and I will. He said all channels start off slow, like he did. Like, for a few years, you didn't gain anything, but then he started doing something new, which no one else did, and then he grew a lot. And he basically told me to find my own style and just basically what everyone has been telling me, but I mean I guess it didn't really fully hit me until a massive until a quite a big YouTuber like him told me, don't care about numbers. That's one of the lessons I've learned for 2016 with my YouTubers. Don't care about numbers. If you care about numbers, you'll get bummed out really quick. This is all to all new channels as well. If you care about numbers too much, you'll just get bummed out really quickly and wanna stop. Don't. Just don't care about the numbers. Just do it if you have fun. If you don't have fun, then maybe if you're just doing it for money, then um, I can't really say that. I'm just doing it for fun, to be honest. But everyone, just thank you everyone who's helped me throughout the year. Just, you're the best people I know, and I couldn't ask for better people to know. So thank you so much. Now, before we end the video, I'm going to talk about New Year resolutions. Uh, not really personal, more for YouTube. So, like I said, more consistent uploads, better quality, just a better channel. I want a new and improved channel. I want to find my style. Like, I found a style for the Universe, which is like my fight camera kind of style, which no one's really complained about or said anything good about it. I just like doing it because it's like an extra bit of editing and I like editing now. Um, personal life, um, just fitness goals for me to be honest. I don't know about what are your guys' pet re resolutions. Please comment them down. If you're still watching this video, this is a massive video. It could last like 31 minutes, probably longer. But um, I don't want this video going on for much longer than it is. <laughs> it's already half, half an hour. Hopefully a lot of it will be condensed, probably not. Basically everyone, thank you for an amazing year on YouTube, and I hope you all have a special year with people you love. And have a happy new year, and a great start to 2017. Bye.